To be sure the biflex toric IOL is properly positioned along the right axis, the 0 degree and 180 degree meridians, at least of the cornea, should be marked prior to surgery as references. Upright positioning of the patient is necessary to do the marking, as the natural rotation of the eye when the patient is inclined is about 10 degrees. Once the reference points are placed on the cornea, the surgeon will use these to align the axis marker. It gives the surgeon the ability to place the linear axis marks on the cornea using the information inscribed into the printed info sheet of the Metacontour calculator. This can be done either with a fixed marker or with a mobile marker or again simply by hand. If using a marker, the surgeon makes the dial rotate onto the precise degree where the steep axis of the astigmatism was identified. Then the foot place is inked. Using the 0, 90, and 180 degree reference points, the inked face of the marker is placed upon the cornea aligning the marker and gently pressing on the cornea. Once placed, the result reveals two linear marks 180 degrees from another, which represent the alignment of the steep axis of the astigmatism. Following 10 years' experience of implanting lenses, I would tend to say that the first recommendation, before performing surgery, is to check that you've got the right patient. This advice might seem surprising, but when you're starting to use toric lenses, you shouldn't commit basic errors. The second basic recommendation is to check the side and the relevant information for it in order to implant the correct lens into the correct eye. And the third recommendation, and the most important, is to check two or three times that the axis indicated really is the axis that you want to correct. In fact, these lenses are normally supplied with a label identifying the positive cylinder. Indeed, not all ophthalmologists are used to expressing themselves in terms of positive cylinders because, for instance, on glasses prescriptions, we generally refer to negative cylinders. Hence the great importance of checking the corneal topography beforehand and actually correcting the axis you're supposed to correct. The incision can be made either along the steep axis or along the flat axis. It is of course possible for a surgeon to make the incision at another location he or she is used to. But it is essential to remember that to get the best and most precise results, the incision location along the steep or the flat axis is strongly recommended. To reduce astigmatism, some colleagues opt for precisely orienting the incision in the clear part of the cornea. Personally, I prefer to stick to an incision a little further back, which, from an astigmatism standpoint, is totally neutral. In so doing, this gives the lens all the correction work to do in the case of significant astigmatism. After conducting the implantation in the eye of the biflex toric implant, as for any biflex lenses, the surgeon places the IOL, aligning the marks of the biflex toric lens with the axis marked on the cornea. In all cases, Surgeons should always remember to make the implant rotate clockwise while implanted into the capsula bag to have it aligned with the right axis. Once the lens is about 15 to 20 degrees of the final intended placement in the eye, the surgeon removes the remaining viscoelastic gel, then gently rotates the lens to its final position, checking that the lines of the biflex toric are aligned with the steep axis marked on the cornea. The surgeon may gently compress the IOL to the back of the capsular bag to ensure the IOL will remain in the final position following surgery. <laughs>